Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, boys? Uh, I hope that you guys are having a great day. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a floating anything in Ark. Like a floating base, floating turret towers. I mean, right here is just sort of an example of what it can be. As you guys can see, there's literally nothing touching the ground from this. And uh, it's sort of like a floating turret tower, I guess. I don't even know. This is a really fat turret tower. It's more like a floating... I, a death ceiling like it's not a wall so I don't even know but also there is another very good example of a floating turret tower very nicely made I'm not gonna lie I actually really like this design somebody in my tribe made this I don't know who made it it's a very nice design though very symmetrical and it just looks very very nice so uh yeah i'm gonna be teaching you guys how you guys can build this it's very simple very easy to do um just a little bit of a heads up i'm like what the heck's going on i don't even know uh you guys are gonna need to be able to unlock the tech hash frame and you're also going to need the water well which is unlocked from rag or scorched earth so basically you guys are gonna need to have pipes they don't need to be metal they can be stone you're gonna need to have ceilings they don't need to be metal they can be whatever you're gonna need to have walls and water well and a hatch frame it's really simple to do i'm gonna go ahead and throw all of these into my inventory now before you guys build this i highly recommend that you guys watch the entire video because you don't need to do this with metal ceilings this or with metal walls i'm sorry the walls don't exactly matter so if you guys are doing this on official rather than wasting all of your metal you guys can you know just save metal and just Etch, that that's a really good thing uh but anyway this is the base of it so this is a, like actually how it's made um it's really simple but i'm going to destroy this just to show you guys how it works and everything like that so basically i did not find this my tribe mate found it but he probably found it off some other youtube so i'm not the original founder i'm not gonna claim to be it but somebody else showed me this and i'm just showing you guys because so many people ask me uh, so basically this water well is a very like powerful thing it basically allows you to build all around and just have floating structures but the most important thing is that you protect this water well let's just say somebody flame arrowed it uh, what would happen if somebody was to flame arrow this well this is what would happen your entire structure would just collapse so what we do is we put metal walls all around it and um, yeah i'll actually show you guys right through here so all we do you just put metal walls surrounding it oh god this is like really weirdly made but yeah it's it's really simple you just kind of surround it in metal walls and ceilings and stuff so uh, I, now i'm kind of stuck in here but oh my all right, there we go. Sweet. So, bear that wall real quick. All right, so pretty much what you guys do is you start off at the bottom, right? So, let's just say we were starting off at a foundation. You would get your walls, and then you would just stack it up as high as you wanted it to go so if we wanted to go like five high then we'd go up to there let's just say we wanted to go higher we would keep going that's really obvious right uh you can start this at the bottom i'm just kind of showing you guys that for an example oh also my audio is not working i'm sorry i've been trying to get my audio to work forever it's just not so i figured i would go ahead and start recording the video because i want to make this video and get it out to you guys anyway uh so I'm gonna start this from our floating structure because I actually am wanting to build like my base up higher. So I'm actually like just gonna do this cause I really want to and just for, you know, show an example. So you get your walls. Like I said, this does not have to be walls. These walls are literally gonna get destroyed. All they're used for is building up high. So you can really go up as high as you guys want. Obviously there is a world border. At the same time, there's also a border for how high you can actually build. So eventually you'll get super high oh wait i just used up all my walls i didn't even realize um but basically you can go to a certain height but at some height before the sky barrier there's actually like a build barrier is what i'd call it and you can't build all the way up the sky barrier so you're gonna have to kind of find that barrier play with it a little bit and then once you figure out how high you want to build i'm just going to use like say that height for example i think it's like um, oh yeah i can all right cool so you're gonna place your ceiling down now you can pick up or destroy all of the extra walls above like i mean you really probably shouldn't even have any above walls but 
being stupid. And then, um, don't destroy these. You're not going to have metal intersections, so you guys won't have to worry. But, now, you simply have walls going up, and then you have a ceiling. Well, you don't even ceiling so you can either place a ceiling or you can just you know put down the tech hatch frame so once you have the tech hatch frame down um you just put the water well inside of it you can like clip it i like to kind of get it as centered as possible now once you do that you want to i believe i'm pretty sure i'm doing this right we'll see in a sec you want to put stone pipes like that or any type of pipes they can be metal stone or whatever kind of pipes you guys want um so for like some reason I always have issues with connecting like the first ceiling. I don't know why, but uh, what I'm just doing is spreading these pipes out and then I'm going to go ahead and just try to put the ceiling down. Come on ceiling. Go down ceiling. Let's see. I'm not sure why I always have issues with this, but I I do. So I, I don't Maybe it might be the bubble. I'm hoping I don't know. Uh, go ahead and try to lower the bubble quick. Maybe it's the bubble affecting it. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure. All right, so we're lowering the bubble real quick, and we'll go see if that's the issue. I don't think that is the issue, um, but I'll. Uh, check, but so, can you trying to place it? Can we place? So no, you cannot place a ceiling over there. Okay, so somewhere I messed up here, and I'm not sure where. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what happened, how I messed this all up, but I guess I messed it all up. So let's go ahead and we will uh, restart with the original concept, right? You just have walls going all the way up to uh, nothing, okay, right? So let me get that wall. Now, I might have placed the tech hash frame on the wrong side, so let me try to place it on this other side, and I think this should work. So you guys see how these walls are set up? You want to place it on like the opposite side if you guys kind of get what i'm saying maybe i don't know i don't know why it was messed up last time but also these pipes are actually going to probably really mess with this whole thing so destroy some pipes real quick all right that's enough pipes destroyed now what you're gonna do is put the water well in there again right like maybe not try to center it i don't know maybe that's what messed me up last time i don't i don't know i, I think i just did center it again but now we're going to try to attach a ceiling to it. If you can attach a ceiling to it, you know you did it right. All right, well, I think that's possibly right. It could be attached to the wall underneath, but all right, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna connect pipes directly to the water well, not to the ceilings. Uh, it, it might be a little bit complicated and like sound a little bit difficult. It's not too hard. Uh, the way that you can tell if your metal pipe is connected to the water well is if it is blue. As you guys can actually see, really good demonstration right here. This pipe is blue, that pipe is gray. So if you can kind of tell the difference, it's very easy to have them side by side. Um, but now we should be able to, yeah, okay, sweet. So now that we got this going, right, now we have these pipes here. Um, now you can literally expand out uh, as far as you want. So pretty much what, how I say, like how I would describe this is you use these pipes as foundation support. So uh, you basically just put a pipe down, right? It's really simple. So if you want to, let's just say I want to expand uh, further out this way, right? Towards that direction. Let's just say I want to do that. All you have to do is add a pipe to there. Why is my charmate keep? I'm actually about to just deactivate right now because saying anything not saying anything so, you bring this all the way down again <laughs> so it's very simple literally these metal pipes are your foundation support you expand them out as far as you would want it to be and then it's as simple as that so we uh, want to expand out that way now we can expand out as far as you could with like foundations pretty much so um, a foundation if these were foundations and you would be using normal ceilings you should be able to go out too oh, okay maybe i'm wrong maybe you cannot maybe it's not a full foundation support maybe it's like just one over i guess yeah i guess it's just yeah just one i don't know i thought it was a whole foundation support but i'm a little bit wrong so 
Yeah, uh, actually, why is this one? I'm not 100%. What? What? Don't ask, don't ask me why this is happening. Because I don't really know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure because I, I don't know. But hey, it works. So yeah, now pretty much what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to destroy this because obviously that is the floating bit. Now, you guys are going to want to also cover this up. Um, so the easiest way to cover this up is probably yeah, like this. That, that, that. So you cover the entire bottom. You can do this with like without a jetpack, with two. Does it make it so much easier doing it with a jetpack? And then you would lit. I don't have enough walls on me, or I would show you guys, but you just wall this entire thing off, right? So just wall that entire thing off. Oh yeah. Also, let me destroy these walls just to show you. The reason that these walls are still here is because they're attached to this floating tower. So. Yeah, so now that that's destroyed, this whole thing's still good to go. Uh, you can also destroy this last wall right here. But remember, you don't destroy this wall at first because you're not going to be able to place your ceilings. Um, place your ceiling attached to this wall and you can delete that and then you're all good to go. So make sure you guys cover up the water well. Literally, all you have to do is wall this entire thing off and then you guys are good to go. And then uh, you also are, of course, going to want to wall this off. So make like a two by two surrounding this and then you guys are all set. And so you can literally just keep expanding however far you want to. Just keep adding more pipes, but make sure that they are attached. Um to the water and your other pipes and yeah it's it's really simple and you can like make amazing things out of this you can go think about just going in like the ocean right just go in the ocean and then just build your floating base like in the middle of the ocean and nobody's gonna find you and plus if somebody does find you to raid a floating base you need to use quetzals and not that many people use quetzals or have quetzals and like you know that easily or really want to do a raid with the quetzal it's just a lot more infuriating than without it so uh yeah it's not a bad idea it's very easy to defend but one thing i should mention this is bannable and not allowed on official so if you guys do play official and you guys are wanting to build this unfortunately if a dev does find this you will be admin wiped i mean that sucks why not just remove it but it's wild card, right? <laughs> you never really know with them. I mean, you really don't. But, uh, yeah, so really simple. I don't think I have anything else to really show you guys. Um, it's completely floating. You can literally put, like, a tech generator on there. You can put anything on there. And you can expand out for as far as you guys would want. Like, you can just keep going nonstop, keep adding pipes, and then just keep adding ceilings. Like, it's nothing that crazy but hey if this video did help you guys out at all make sure that you guys smash that like button it's a very good way to uh prevent meshing um it's actually really great another thing i'm sorry i was gonna end the video there but if you guys are built in a cave i highly 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 recommend you guys use this method to set up floating turret towers because trust me i know i used to be a cave dweller i used to live in caves all the time every day all day all night um but we kept getting meshed and this is a really good solution to mesh so because people can't just blow your cliff platforms that are in your cave cliff platforms i would use cliff platforms to like prevent people from running my towers but then if people get in the mesh they can easily blow your cliff platform cliff platforms through the mesh but if you do have a floating tower they literally have the only way to destroy a floating tower if you didn't add any blind spots to it which it's kind of hard to is only by soaking the entire thing so imagine if somebody was to mesh right here they couldn't really do anything without having to soak this entire tower so they could blow up the entire bottom part of this entire thing but they wouldn't really well they could get the loot out from underneath the mesh but still i don't know it's a really scenario based thing but i mean it does help against measures i'm telling you it really 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 does help against measures so uh hopefully this helps you guys out if it does make sure that you guys smash the like button also if you guys are new around here make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys have any questions feel free to leave in the comment section down below anyway i hope that you guys have a great day i'll talk to you guys later goodbye